from the defenders. But more importantly, the attackers looking to get on the site. Paint shells go okay. through. Dark covers as well. Cloudburst going to go down. Mm -hmm. Pure not going to get a whole lot of value because of those nerfs, right? Only four and a half seconds now on that as we didn't get to plan an awkward spot, but they sniff it out. There's the paranoia coming on through, and they start to storm the site. Imposter down as Wipo goes good for two, but it's back and forth. Red and blue for two. Dap's now going to get on the board and join the rest of the team, but they're just getting remains. mowed down and exit. Wow. They don't want to be sent home. It was slow until it was time to pick. Oh, oh, we did. That was a little bit scary, but he was able to get away. Nice paranoia, but Shank's closest distance to not allow the near sight to have impact. And he actually gets a kill and gets away. That's a nice little opening kill for energy, but they're still well behind the round overall. Still well behind. A couple of kills come through here. All the kills come through here. Aaron picks up three, and it's just a firing. They clear out a tripwire. Fire in the hole. And it's about to be quick once more. Showstopper on the side takes down the operator, but it's traded back three times as much here oh for NRG. Som gonna find his way on the board. Infinite as well. Now it's down to the last two. We did through the smoke. Picks one up. Dwyfe was able to trade it back in a 1v2. Who better than we did? Still be alive. Full HP. Spike right in front of him. Now needs to back away from the paranoia. Does have the dark cover coming up here shortly. He knows that two members might be close here on this side. A couple of shrouded steps to get him in and out. Mm. Unfortunately, Dap's going to close it out here. Vandal versus Phantom. Vandal comes out on top. Fairly easy. Yep. And now you no longer have to worry about the Hunter's Fury. You don't have to worry about the Shock Darts. So a nice free plant with no chip mm -hmm. damage to follow through. And the post plant once more. Three members head out towards Long. And Dwyfo just holding it down on the site. Yep. We're even for it. As he gets tagged out, now needs to be careful as the knives come on through. The knives are actually going to miss somehow, some way. NRG are finding these kills. It's a little wonky. And now with the spike, a shot through the smoke. Shanks goes huge, uses a smoke of his own. Will stick the defuse, and is it going to be enough? No, it's not. Pure goes big. Now in a 1v2. It's low HP. It's a 1v1. They're both so low. He's just going to try and stick it, and it's going to work. Throws don't fake, baby. The scoreboard here. Again, default in play, but Xset getting some control over towards Suicide, and also putting some pressure towards long a and now bcj with the hunter's fury finds a kill on c site which is gonna make it even harder for energy to have a read on things and it feels like now haven their oyster they've got some some aggression over towards c some aggression over towards a and they can really look to make a play mm. wherever they want is that ultimate gonna be stopped we did heads on back after getting a bit of information yep but it looks like an a play here from x set they get a kill over towards C. Now looking to make a play over towards uh, A. And that shot gonna go wide. Shanks takes some damage on the way out. And you're not too healthy, but he's all right. Not gonna be the end of the day. And this is just like the pistol round dust. We kind of saw how this one plays out. Yeah, energy and man down. Trying to play a retake here. Gonna be very, very difficult. Especially with Dwyfo having Neural Theft. If he gets one kill, he can pick on everyone else's location. They have a perfect read. If they can't find something soon, they're gonna have to just kind of back off and save it. Some might have just broken it open. It feels like they're running out of time. So I'm going to find another BCJ trading them back, though. Now in a 1v2. EU needs to do something remaining. huge here for NRG to try and keep the streak going in a 1v1. He peeks out, finds Weeded. He's going to peek again, but Weeded on top. Exec back to their tight contest. And a match that's very important with elimination on the line. Crowned it. And I mean, with the economy kind of on the line here, Pura just going to go into the knives here, pick up the first kill, nice little reset, Dap trying to trade it back, and Pura again going to come out on top here. The efficiency from the jet for Xset to try and pick up another round, and at the very least make it to where you can only go even at the half. That spike once more headed over towards this A site. It is going to be a 5v3 on the retake. And we'll see if Infinite, who is very far away. Oh, oh my god, Dwyfo, you madman. You just gets deleted off the map here. And things get a whole lot harder. The paint shells go down. Som spike planted. forced to back up here. It's low HP on a couple of members. But this round seemingly to be closed out by Xset. And I would imagine maybe another save here from NRG. The credits aren't the worst in the world. But... One they want to get this up for they're just going to get mowed down. X territory. As I say that, they have a player kind of watching out for it. It's going to be Som, but he's been caught. Now, Dwyfo has a heaven control. This team can come along a no problem. And, and there's really nothing that energy can do about it, except for maybe play retake or try to disrupt here from this lower connector position. And we saw him in the flanker's mindset, expecting, hey, if I can do it, they might just do it as well. He does unfortunately get caught out as the show number comes on through. Not going to find too much value, but the rifle will for Xset as they look to mow them all down. It's all up to Daps. It's a 1v3 in the spike, yet to be planted. So working against the clock is still Xset. A lot of time, though, to get this one down. They should just be able to stick it and back each other up. 54 HP on the omen, and he looks to save again.
Yeah, that's just a great aggressive lurk there from Dwyfo on the A side of the map. While all the focus is at C, the Hunter's Fury from BCJ clearing out that right side lane on C side, putting a lot of pressure over there. Again, they had to spin Dapsis from their shadows just to kind of check and see what was going on the opposite side of the map because they had to really respect that C pressure. And Dwyfo was able to kind of slip through those cracks, get into towards defending spawn, catch a pick on the SOM. And at that point, the A site was wide open. Energy again forced to play for a difficult retake. And unfortunately, this time for them, they were unable to come up with much. And so Xset will jump up to seven. Again, this will. I don't think I don't think they have any idea about Thwifo. No, I, I thought Saw maybe sniffed it out because he was playing over towards that A link, but now nobody peeking in that direction. And just as B site goes, uh, the flank actually paying off. Dwyfo gonna pick up two here. Just closing it out. Aaron playing close garage, able to find another infinite though. Gets on the board. Nerf that's gonna be chosen to be two there, but they're still gonna take it towards the C side. It's been working before, but now infinite. Trying to change the script here. Two kills to come on through, one traded back, but pure on a low HP. Forced to back away over towards the garage. That spike still hanging out over towards Cubby. There's the neural theft that we were waiting to see. Five. Infinite's gonna get that one off. And they know one's in garage. BCJ from downtown is gonna sit the cypher down. So no more information for you. Dap's gonna follow up on that one. Now we could be mm. looking eight to four here. NRG. Have a member up. That spike still hovering over towards C though as things slow down. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, they, they saw Jet push from A-side. So Dwyfo and company are not that confident that they can pivot back to the A-side of the map. They know that Shanks is kind of patrolling Enemy that position. Remains. So they're trying to find picks elsewhere. And that's a nice little entry from BJ on the saw, but unfortunately, it's just immediately traded out Dwyfo in a tough spot. That's able to pivot his attention over really big ground, as we are going to see energy invest. But look at Pure getting sneaky in the smoke. Gets in there and finds one. Picks up one, and it is the force. I thought we weren't going to see it, but NRG opt into it and try and take the C site. They're going to do just that. It works out so well in Thwaifo. Once more on the flank, but his efforts just a bit delayed. NRG, they lose the pistol, but they come back strong. Yeah, again, I mean, that, that's... Dude, he just stands strong on the C site, not afraid of the running back, sends it right back, and then finds another kill on top in the same position. Absolutely huge there from the Omen. Out of Xset. Now they look for on four coming from the defense. Spawn. Make it three. Is Infinite going to cut those numbers down into the smoke? They will go and they'll trade the kill back. You with the knife here in the remaining. Spectre. Just going to spray them down. It's a 3k. It's low HP. It's a 4k for EU and NRG. Continue their winning ways. With the Sheriff. Causing some threats, but able to teleport out of that corner. No problem. And time's running low, but EU's going to be able to clear a lot of space with this Hunter's Fear. And they should be able to get the site now. And Weeded has since relocated, so not a whole lot there as the Nines come through. One Weeded finds remaining. another. It's the Weeded and Pure show as EU, the last man standing. Not a whole lot working in his favor. Ten seconds left. As far as the numbers go, he's also going to get tagged out here. Vandal in hand. Oh, and Weeded wow. through the box. What a round. Oh, Next. feeling airy. Uh, uh, back and forth, a nice teeter-totter as Infinite gonna find the kill on the imposter. Except unfortunately just fallen by the wayside once more. That is Weeded going down, trying to switch up the positions. The dash comes through, but Pure just stands right in the way. That is the immovable force being hit by the unstoppable object. Mm. But Xset grab one on the way out. Now play towards C, a 4v2 retake. Make it a 4v3 as BCJ. Finally, these kills are starting to come to use and things Enemy look a bit more doable. They do look doable. They still are down a man, but they're going to use B-Stage drone to get some information. They know that two players are already at long and one's on site, but as Pyrrha swings, Sam is there to greet him at the door, and at least BCJ all by as lonesome and not long for this world. EU will go ahead and put the final draft of that one. He's moving in, dashing in, getting the spike plant. There's a Hunter's Fury attempt to stop the plant, but it's not going to get there fast enough, and it's not even going to get the complete kill, but it does catch Infinite in the backside, so that gives them a one-man advantage as they come in for the retake. Unfortunate for Infinite, not even focused on him, but he ended up getting tagged anyways. And like I said, look to push on. This is that post plant we spoke about that gets a little awkward. Everybody corralled outside towards mid. BCJ gonna find the first one. Saw him gonna fall to a shock dart. Now it is a 3v5, and they're just cutting the numbers down here. They're gonna try and do their darndest, but we might just see a stick. It's all up to one. No more shock darts available, and BCJ just gonna... Just massive. 
Uh oh. <laughs> Ooh. Speaking of massive, kills coming back and forth here. Trying to play for the alt orb. So I'm going to find another. He's not going down without a fight here. As he tosses up the blaze wall to try and heal up. Here, though, on the flanks, able to find one and sneak away. Uh -oh. Back and forth. It does not stop here. That's it all, though, under heaven and gets control of the site. But Pure is still tucked in sewers. He has not been cleared out. And he's been a real nuisance. But now, finally, the spike will get planted. Spike planted. And now we have a 2v2 in our hands to decide things. Is it going to be exit victory? Or is energy going to push this to the final round of regulation? They're both stuck towards sewer side. Wifo's on the long A flank. And the other player's going to be coming from heaven. Cover going out. And with that loss of the last round, Hunter Fury still available. So could be looking to play with this. Once more, Sweden looking to come out of heaven. Has that paranoia queued up? EU playing inside the smoke. Has not only the drone, but the recon dark available. Should have heard those footsteps as well as the cage comes out. They're going to push on through. They're going to find the first kill. The paranoia going to blind everybody here. Now, Weeded needs to come up clutch. The recon bolt going to spot him out, but NRG stay alive and look to push us to the slow energy's progression. And actually, it does enough to make them want to fall back and reconsider other options. They are indeed swinging all five players after putting the pressure on A and forcing a rotation. They're now looking to shift over towards left. C side. There is still presence here, though, from X set. And they've already rotated two players all the way back. So it's going to be a tough egg to crack here for energy. Yeah, a whole lot of presence. As they're running out of time, they just have to send it. And we did going to find the first kill. Looking to close things out. There's the Hunter Fury used. But red and blue go back and forth for two. The knives will fall. Now in the 2v2. Aaron goes up top with the showstopper and sits EU down. Now it's all up to infinite. Low HP on the raise. Going to mow him down. And X set will close. Up a retake as they also have a low health player and play on the energy side of things. Even as far as numbers go, but the HP in advantage for X set as that Trailblazer gets mowed down. The spike planted out for long. Three members playing that way. Pure gonna find another infant gonna fall here on the sky. Shane's trying to trade it back, but it's all up to him now. Low HP. The defuse comes wow. through and play back, play for the retake here behind the smokes. Aaron is gonna come over, trying to look for chip damage with the paint shells. He's gonna get a little bit off, but not enough. But they still have main advantage on the retake overall. And I mean, almost best case scenario One outside of winning the round, you get the spike down, so you get some extra credits, but Dwightfo still. Oh, wow. and this is kind of how the last game ended. Finally, Som's able to open it up, but it's traded right back and Foster down as Aaron gets on the board and on the site, Dwightfo will go. He's gonna pick up a couple as BCJ helps him close it out. Now, a, a contrary to popular belief, NRG find themselves in the lead as Weedah gonna push on out, be taken down and Man, I don't think ends go down, and it's going to be an A push through showers. The spike will go, but X set rearing to stop this one. Yeah, good seekers to allow them to clear some of those close quarters out now that they had gotten pushed, that they needed something to make them feel safe. They're able to pave their way back in, but X set are still ahead, and spike has still yet to be planted. Still yet to leave showers, just it's still just hanging out right over there as the neural that's going to help Flypo pick up a few. They shut it down, X set. Important, I guess, as yeah. a whole. Well, it's calculated. They're doubling up hookah, so they're they're fine with giving up showers uh, because they they're looking for a pick elsewhere. They found it. Now they can play the five on four out. They can start rotating now off B site. Now that they've been able to get some extra information, and now we didn't even catch a shanks on an up close angle. But this is going to be more brilliant for Xset. Yeah, I mean, all of them. It's rifles across the board, but Xset just seemed to go untouched here. Wifo going to be in an awkward angle. He's able to find one because of the trap wire there in EU. A fine he was able to do some funny stuff earlier, but now he needs to find a 4K for himself. I have the spike. As he pushes out, has that spike in hand, but he's completely pinched from three different sides. One coming back site, one inside of showers is going to be weeded, and one looking to push up towards short. 30 seconds left here. Needs to play aggressive. Tries to run down Weeded. Left. Not able to get him just yet. Revealing and he idea. makes it out. Now EU, I don't know where he goes with this one. Yeah, he's tough because they have position at A heaven and A short. He's going to probably get the spike plant, but getting away is going to be the problem. He is stuck here. And yeah, he doesn't get any access back over towards shower side. And I'm just loving this from X set, Tanner. I'm loving that any time that energy starts to feel comfortable, and it is a pick going the way of NRG as they storm onto the safe site. This is an awkward play. The attacker is now pushing through guard, and it's close and personal. If you're going to find the first of the opener, make it a second spike as planted. they just get cut down. Now, we did. Here's the spike go down. Frenzy in the hands. Unfortunately, oh. might not be enough. EU from downtown through the wall will find the kill to help his brimstone out. And NRG looking to battle back here. It is Twyfo. 
It is Blades available as well, and we'll see in the 3v2 retake. Xset looking to continue their winning ways. Good yeah, cam. they have. Yeah, it is. They were able to get pure to a different location than what the operator is not pinned at uh, Octagon anymore. Now Dwyfo has found a little bit of an opening here. Pure able to pop the all come in, but the daggers just don't land with the fuse. It's still going. He gets half. He has to come off, and that's where that. You know what? They're not worried about that cyber cage. And once more, Infinite going to use those seekers to try and get out of their spawn. Push on up towards this site. The last time we saw this play, the spike could not leave the showers. We're going to see if that is going to be the same outcome here. As I believe that paranoia was sent on out. Orbital Strike going to use as well. Here comes the tank. Shake's going to go on. He's looking to spray through the smoke, but he's going to get sat down. It's BCJ who rotated over. Weeded on the board as well. Now, Infinite has made it out of the showers. Unfortunately, the spike is on the ground for Daps. His location has been revealed. And once more, that recon bolt going to come on through from that owl drone. Yeah, Dabs is pretty stuck. He has one smoke, smoke left. Which he's gonna use to try to cover. Like he might be trying to come out towards U-Haul opposite side, but BCJ not gonna fall to those in the driver's seat up a player. Oh, that's big Ooh. kills from Infinite. That might be what evens things out and it helps them progress. If Infinite doesn't get that second kill with the sheriff, I think this round's over with. But now energy, they have a lifeline. But is it enough of one? Oh, we did with the close angle. It might not be enough. Once more, as you call it, Bucky, it's the paranoia. It's weeded to try and close things out. Infinite now looking to find himself an ace to win the round at the half here. To go seven to five. He's able to find another. That's the fourth. He's got the spike in his hand. The Seekers are available. What an incredible Ooh, round one. here from Infinite. And he heads right on back to A. He's got so much time to play with. And he knows exactly where Thwaifo is at the moment. So I felt read this perfectly though. He's gonna rotate perfectly in time. He had a read on what left. his opponent was up Five to, but planted. it's all gonna come down now the positioning. Health certainly favoring Thwyfil. Obviously, his alt's not really gonna be able to come into play. No bodies that he's gonna be able to scope out infinite position. So it's all just gonna come down to aim. The heal unfortunately does nothing for infinite at this moment in time in the Trailblazer. Will also, unfortunately, give away his position should he choose to use it. But time is ticking down and Infinite, getting the better half of this trade thus far, is wary of this U-Haul play. Nobody playing towards the spike yet. No sound to be found and through the box. Dwyfo just takes a oh guess. Oh my. An eight to four we go. What a round from both teams. And he does. Things continue to move as a smoke should stall for a bit. Yeah, they're trying to send the flash forward to stall more and get intel, but they're able to find Dabs out up close. Luckily, his teammates were able to trade a little bit better, and they actually have main advantage at this point in time. Next, they're still really slow now. They can't get in, and now Pocket's been cleared out by the Hound. Seconds left. That Trailblazer going through, and they're just going to follow up right remaining. with it, but it kills traded back and forth. It's pure to find three on the round. Now a 1v2, Psalm needs to come up huge. Only 66 oh, no. from downtown with the Frenzy. He will get sat down as Xset oh, claim no. another round. And have a good rotation. They have three players in place. Xset, though, are putting the pressure on. They get Aura. They're starting to come out as well into Slight Infinite, though. Big kills to keep his team up on top so far in this round. Yeah, and Infinite was quiet at the start of this game, but he's starting to come online. It was a 4K earlier and a 3K in this one as they completely lock this B site down. And Xset, once more, find themselves on the back foot, but in the face of adversity, they've been able to make it work left. in the past. Now, the rotations come through the teleporter. I thought maybe we see a push up towards market, but it's gonna be weeded. Taking that spike onto the safe site. Shanks close around the corner with the Seekers following behind. Pure's gonna sit down, Daps Infinite picks up the 4K. This could be the ace that we were waiting for. And Pure, unfortunately, is running out of time. He has to just go in for the double kill. And it might not be enough. Shanks is there right behind. He's gonna try and stick the plant and the ace through the- Interesting. Get momentum. The name of the game is Shanks finds another here. Mr. Fourth Quarter starting to come online. The paint gel's gonna be traded out, but two members already down for exit. You all control. Stinger in hand with the right click in the flawless round for NRG. Huge there from control and penetrating this B site. So this is a world of trouble for exit. In the meantime, EU has found a kill. They have four players rotated and they have a flank from that setting in. Oops. 30 seconds left. Yeah, pure though, gonna clear out Doesn't the matter. site with the 3K. The jet 
Cypher X set coming up huge there against all odds. Now NRG find themselves on the back foot once more. Zom able to find his counterpart in Aaron, and it's a 2v2. NRG been riding a high for the last couple of rounds, but they need to come up huge now playing against the clock here, looking at match point. Them beacon down. One enemy ah. remaining. Last oh player my goodness, standing. the exchange is back and forth here, leaving Pure in the one versus one here. Som gonna Ooh. get caught in Pure. Damn, what's going on? He got full you all control, yeah. and he's... Oh, Shanks, though, that's a brilliant pick up there. Dwyfo was looking for a little bit more even towards that lower side. He is gonna get caught, but again, the site was taken basically single-handedly by Dwyfo just being able to pressure his way into u haul position. They're now able to swing over and plant. Honey's Fury is a little bit late to deny, trying to pave the way through short, though, for this retake. They do have man advantage. And a, a couple through the teleporter here, so just looking to reset as BCJ picks it up with the ghost from downtown. What? He finds another, should be able to pick up a gun as well. Exit. Want to close it out right here, right now. They want to move forward, but Shanks is standing in the way. Pure going to pick one up with the daggers. Now the last alive with 70 HP. He gets gunned down. Daps with occurring. But there still is the edge for exit overall. Silence. Daps might. Oh my. Ew. What? Through the smoke. Able to find one just blindly firing. Infinite, though, on low HP. Does still have the trailblazer to his name should he choose to use it. Recon it actually gonna bank and he's not gonna find the kill just yet. There it is. EU trades it back, finds the second one. EU is a madman in this round. Now BCJ in a 1v2 once more, trying to close things out. Xset knocking on the door of not only a series left. victory, but sending NRG home. Who better than? It's EU, a 4K. And they're looking to push into the site, but it's gonna be a tight five on four. Gen ultimates used across the board here. Song goes through though to try and stop everything. The kill's gonna be traded back as X set get on the board for two. Make it another as infinite. Gonna cut those numbers down. A 2v2. The last round in regulation. Which way do we swing? The spike is on the floor. The trailblazer now coming out in 30 seconds on the clock. The neural theft is available. And I don't know how much information you got off of that one. There was a lot of travel time on that trailblazer. Now the spike gets planted and NRG working against the clock. Yeah, they cleared out U-Haul position, but it could have been reclaimed for all they know. One on one trade, but infinite again, another key multi-frag in a critical moment. Site will be Shanks trying to get that spike down. Those cloud bursts don't last for very long since that nerf. Long enough to get it down. There's a 5v5 retake here as everybody looks to come on over, but you see Pure still wary of the flank. We haven't seen too many of these, have we? A five on five retake has not been an occurrence we've seen yet on this map, but it's gonna come down to the wire here in this one. Everybody playing off the side as well. It's five defenders looking to get the defuse here. BCJ just looking to stick it. They have to try and find the spread to smoke. He goes halfway, it goes back and forth over and over, and it's all up to Psalm who can't get it done. It is the defenders early in overtime. All five members pushing up through short here. Dust, they get the information, one inside U-Haul. Indeed they do, and they get a lot of space. Dwyfo's gonna find the entry as well. He's in U-Haul, they don't check the corner. He finds infinite, that was so key for his team. In regulation is now already off the board, and Exet seemed prime to win this here and now. The last two rotating from the defender's spawn, trying to get as much info as they can before pushing on. They tag out Aaron, but it doesn't mean a whole lot. Some spray through the box. Isn't gonna find enough. They're working against the clock here, Dust. They have to find a way in, but Aaron standing in the way. Finally, a shock dart to sit him down. EU needs to come up huge, and he's just corralled. He picks up the first onto Weeded. Three more to follow. It's going to take an ace from the Sova here for NRG to stay alive. He picks up another. He might just be running out of time, and that's gonna be it. They're able to run down the clock here. EU has no way in, no way out. Exit will send NRG home in 2-0 fashion.